So here we are. We got our little cake here, a little banana sprout. Here's a little bit bigger one here off the mother, the daughter, and the granddaughter. We're going to try to propagate this one so the goal is to dig down and around. It's got to go pretty deep all the way around. Make sure you get back behind here and cut it off. The root system between the big one and the little one. And dig all the way around until it starts to loosen up. There it is. Check that one out. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect cakey every time. Really going to have to work it. These are attached. They're so close. You can see here in the past what we've done when the, uh, we harvest one of the tall bananas. All the leaves and stuff get chopped up and mulched and put in the middle. Create a good moist organic layer in there. We're going to try to break some of that back. Oh. There's the baby. Yeah. Right here. Got it perfect. Got a nice, strong root system here. All right, we have our bananas. We've collected all these over the past probably about three hours. So these are the little bananas we've just propagated. And what we're going to do is just peel these in now and let these roots grow and the plants reestablish themselves. Um, as we spend the next week or so getting our beds prepared for the banana planting in our other field over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you this is sort of an ideal banana young shoot. It's got a nice strong root system on it. This is perfect. It's got a nice strong roots. Some of these have been cut open so this would be a little harder to root but as long as they have this sort of this edge here this should probably root. Papa? Yeah? You sure can. We're going to put that part off. That stuff's all muddy. We just got them mulched with banana leaves, watered. These are uh, just in a temporary holding bed um, as their roots grow. We've cut back the leaves on the top to uh, let the all energy go right down into the roots. And so they're going to be here until we get the area ready for them uh, on one of these other fields. <laughs> Alright, so here we are about two months later with our bananas that we dug, all the little cakeys, and they've grown and they've rooted on their own. So now we're ready to transplant these to their permanent place. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and dig down. Ariana, you can get on the other side here and just dig around gently. And we'll see what kind of root system these guys have established. It sounds like they're in there pretty well. And there it is. Let's just see here. Yeah, look at that. They've rooted. New roots coming out. There you can see some of the new roots. So that's made it. Some of the old roots have died off, but you can see some nice young feeder roots there. So we're ready. We'll go ahead and take this one over to its new spot. We have probably 75-80% uh, success rate on these. Uh, some of these we knew it wouldn't make it, probably like these that got cut off when they were too young. Didn't quite make it. Several of the smaller ones kind of rotted, but most of the ones we got a nice good root system. Yeah, look at that. Wow. <laughs> That's what you like to see. And you can see here this is a formation of a new cakey. So we can see this is another banana plant in the making. So already trying to propagate itself. And this is what we dug off our 
last one. Each one of these forms up into a whole new shoot. And you can see how well they establish when you get a nice solid root system with it. None of this got cut off originally when we were digging it. You got the whole thing. Let's get this one last one and we'll take them on over to our new spot. Excellent. All right, we're ready to go plant. A lot of rocks we had to get out of here. We're going to go ahead and place this. We got some nice compost to put in here. So here's our banana plants. Nice root system on it. We got that off of there. Beautiful, nice pink color. So we'll go ahead and set this in there just about. Let me feel. You feel the energy telling you which way to do it? Got it. Is that what it says? Okay, we'll go ahead and start filling that in. Each one of these, so we're getting a, getting a thorough watering right now. We've got the hose on them, and we will install irrigation here shortly. They've got compost in the holes. Uh, these should be good to go. We should have fruit in about a year from these. So, last thing we do, I like to do, is just thank the fa Father Sky and Mother Earth, and we ask your blessings on these bananas. That they may grow happy and healthy and nourish us as we nourish them. The blessings on our 